Genesis chapter 11. Now the whole earth used the same language and the same words. It came about as they journeyed east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they used brick for stone, and they used tar for mortar. They said, Come, let us build for ourselves a city and a tower whose top will reach into heaven, and let us make for ourselves a name. Otherwise, we will be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. The Lord said, Behold, they are only one people, and they all have the same language. And this is what they begin to do, and now nothing which they purpose to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and therefore confuse their language, so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of the whole earth, and they stopped building the city. Therefore its name was called Babel, because from there the Lord confused the language of the whole earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad from the face of the whole earth. These are the records of the generations of Shem. Shem was 100 years old and became the father of Arkpashad two years after the flood. And Shem lived 500 years after he became the father of Arkpashad and he had other sons and daughters. Arkpashad lived 35 years and became the father of Shelah and Arkbashad lived 403 years after he became the father of Shelah, and he had other sons and daughters. Shelah lived 30 years and became the father of Eber, and Shelah lived 403 years after he became the father of Eber, and he had other sons and daughters. Eber lived 34 years and became the father of Peleg, and Eber lived 430 years after he became the father of Peleg, and he had other sons and daughters. Peleg lived 30 years and became the father of Ru, and Peleg lived two years, excuse me, 209 years after he became the father of Ru, and he had other sons and daughters. Ru lived 32 years and became the father of Serug, and Ru lived 207 years after he became the father of Serug and had other sons and daughters. Serug lived 30 years and became the father of Nahor. And Serug lived 200 years after he became the father of Nahor, and he had other sons and daughters. Nahor lived 29 years and became the father of Terah. And Nahor lived 119 years after he became the father of Terah and had other sons and daughters. Terah lived 70 years and became the father of Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. Now these are the records of the generations of Terah. Terah became the father of Abraham, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran became the father of Lot. Haran died in the presence of his father Terah in the land of his birth, in Ur of the Chaldeans. Abraham and Nahor took wives for themselves. The name of Abram's wife was Sarah. The name of Nahor's wife was Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah and Ishka. Sarai was barren. She had no child. Terah took Abram, his son, and Lot, the son of Haran, his grandson, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife, and they went out together from Ur of the Chaldeans in order to enter the land of Canaan, and they went as far as Haran and settled there. The days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran. God bless the reading and hearing of his word. Amen.